Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade Ritchie and I am back with another favorites video. Happy February, guys. It is kind of in middle February and I thought it'd be a good time to show you guys some of the stuff that I am loving this month. And I mean, some of the stuff I was doing last month too, but this stuff I've really, really like used all month, every single day. Well, some stuff every single day. So yeah, let's get right into the products. So what I'm first gonna start with is my favorite hair product that I'm using this month. It is the Kristen S Volumizing Mousse. It is for all hair types, bodybuilding, volume boosting, strand thickening, and has a lasting hold. So yes, this one is really good. I got this at Target. I'm sure you can get it at any drugstore. So it was not expensive, which I really liked, but Usually what I do is right after I get out of the shower, if I am drying my hair with a blow dryer, not air drying it, I'll just like take it out, spray a little, oh, I didn't mean to spray it. I don't know what to do with this now. What should I do with it now? A little bit more than this, but I just spray it. Oh, so I spray it and then put it in the roots of my hair. And then right after I spray it, like right after I put it in, I go and blow dry my hair because if it air dries at all, it'll kind of get really sticky but I'll go and blow dry my hair with either a round brush or I'll just like flip my hair, flip my head upside down and blow dry it like that. And it really, really holds a lot of volume and it will stay for a long time until I wash my hair the next time. So yeah, this one is my favorite hair product that I'm using. The next hair product I have is also a volumizing thing. It is the Bumble and Bumble BB Prit, 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 uh, <clears throat> wow, okay. Bumble and Bumble BB Prit and Powder. <laughs> That's not how you say it, but. This is just dry shampoo, pretty much, but it is my favorite dry shampoo powder. I have lots of other dry shampoo sprays, but this one's my favorite dry shampoo powder that I just put in my hair whenever I'm done styling it and then kind of just like mess with my hair. And, and it does really volumize it for a long time. And throughout the day, if I notice that it's starting to get a little, bit, a little bit more flat, I'll just like fluff it up a little bit and it will kind of like reactivate, I guess. But yeah, this one, this one's really nice. So before I go into my favorite skincare and makeup products, I wanted to talk about my favorite candle company that I'm loving and will always love is Art and Science. It's actually founded by my two really, really close friends, Drew and Jane Worsham. Jane was in one of my videos. She was in the Passion and Atlanta travel vlog. And so if y'all remember that, y'all remember she is amazing. But yes, so this candle company is one of my favorite candles. I actually have not opened this one yet, but um, I am never not burning one of their candles. Um, they make really interesting scents. Most of their scents, I'm pretty sure actually all of their scents are geared towards guys. So it's kind of like a candle that a guy would like because most candles are kind of girly scents. And This candle that I'm opening right now is actually partnered with the End It Movement. And if you don't know what that is, it is a movement to end modern day slavery. And it's actually a really big thing in our country that not a lot of people know about, but is huge and it smells really good. I haven't started burning this one, but I have almost every single one of their other scents and all the proceeds go to a really great charity. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my favorite skincare products right now. I'm going to start with my moisturizer that I've been using for the past few months, not just February. This is the Belief Aqua Balm Moisturizing Cream and it is amazing especially this time of year i really really count on my moisturizer to help me every single day and this one is a winner for sure it is really really light and thin but it also does a lot to keep my face moisturized and looking clean and fresh all day long Next, I'm going to move into my eye cream. This is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. <laughs> um, this one is really also good for this time of year because my under eyes especially get really dry and this one takes literally just a tiny, tiny bit. I usually use this this much <laughs> for my under eyes and it works really well. It's really good for concealer and not having creases if you have that sometimes and it just really keeps your under eyes hydrated and looking fresh. My next 
skincare product that I love is the Glam Glow Mask. This is the mask that I'm using right now. I know it's the little one. It's kind of like, it's a travel size one, but I got it in the pack with, I think the treatment one and another one. But this one is my absolute favorite. First of all, you look super cool whenever you put it on. You look like a tin man, but it feels so good. It's so refreshing and I like to use this one when I've worn makeup like all day long or I've had a really busy weekend where I was constantly putting on more and more makeup. It's kind of just like a refreshing, clearing, good mask. All right, moving on to my next skincare product. I have this, okay, bear with me. Kudali, Kudali, I don't know how to say it, but it's this. And it is a beauty elixir. Beauty, it, let me start that over. It is a beauty elixir and some people use it as like a setting spray, but I use it whenever I don't wear makeup and I wash my face, um, put on toner and moisturizer and all that good stuff and then I spray this on and this makes my face really naturally glowy and so it's really, really good. Whenever I wear it, people are like, what makeup are you wearing? Like, what, what foundation do you have on? And I'm like, absolutely nothing, like this is it. This is also the travel size, but I've had this forever and I use it all the time. So recommend picking this up. So with it being February and with it being the month of love, pretty girly, why cannot I think of the name of this? Palette, oh my. <laughs> I really wanted just a really girly, pinky, cutesy eyeshadow palette. So I went to Sephora and picked up this Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes eyeshadow palette and I absolutely fell in love with it. I don't think I'll ever wear eyeshadow that's not from this palette ever again. The colors are really, really pretty. There's a lot of lighter pinks and then middle pinks and darker like purpley colors and so it has a really good variety but also really, really cute. Next, I have this Slay All Day Setting Spray and I know this is the travel size. Okay, I get it. I like small things but I just wanna make sure that I like the thing before I buy the full thing, you know? This one I got at Riley Rose and one of my best friends, Jen, showed me this brand and I am in love. This brand is different from other setting sprays because it like makes your makeup look really like matte. It stays literally all day. It slays all day, not just stays, it slays. And I just can't stop sometimes. I love it. Ooh. So my last product, I was going to explain, but then I was like, you know what? My friend Marcus knows so much more about it. Why not have him explain it? He could do it 110 times better. So my last product, Marcus is going to explain. Welcome to my channel. Um, I will be explaining the last two products. They're actually homemade. Here, let me open this for you guys so you guys can see. Um, and so sometimes I'll just like take a little dab, a little rub, a little rub. It stays all day. So not only can you use this for prom, homecomings, you can use this as an everyday lifestyle. Um, get the glitter fondue one because the pigment ones, they actually don't sell any more of these. So these are exclusive, 100 each. What, what are they called? Highlighters. Highlighters. <laughs> all right, well, Marcus pretty much summed it up. Just kidding guys, I'll explain how I actually use these. And no, they are not $100 a piece. And no, they are not homemade, they are from MAC. So these three, I do not use every day like Marcus does. I use these for game days or events like that. They are very, very pigmented and the, I don't know where he got the name chocolate fondue. This is not what that's called. All of them are really, really pretty. They, they're just highlighters, they're, they're pigment, but you just really put it on your finger and put it in the places you want to highlight and it is really, really pretty. I use these all football season and you really can't even tell that it's been used at all. All right, so that's the end of my February favorites. This video is so fun to make. Be on the lookout for my next month's favorites, March favorites. Holy crap, how is next month already March? I don't know. Anyways, all of these products, every single one of them will be linked down below. So if you guys liked any of them, click on those. If you guys like this video and have any questions about it or have any questions for me, comment them down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, subscribe, and be on the lookout for my next video. Bye guys.